Hi everybody, I'm Bolt Matrix, and this is the Giant Robot News for Monday, January 24th, 2022. A little bit of news today, some new figures, some new news, some Toy Fair stuff. Let's get into it. All right, first up, we've got some Bear Brick Transformers Optimus Prime Bape Red Packaging. This is a figure that has already been released. We've already seen, this thing's already seen the light of day, or I should say the mold has. This is a new repaint of a figure in Bape colors, or officially a Bathing Ape website. So yeah, nothing to really get excited about. I've only seen one of these things in person, and it was fine. Color scheme works. It's kind of like a dark prime, but it works. It's fine. Next up from Queen Studios, we have Revenge of the Fallen Jetwing Optimus Prime versus Megatron Diorama Prototype. This is, via, this is via the Primo Collectibles Facebook group and Capcom Kai on Instagram. So I opened these in other tabs just so we get a better look at it. It looks pretty darn good. It It's a nifty looking bit. And wait, did I say Megatron or did I say The Fallen? I don't remember. Either way, it's super detailed, but good lord, some of these are really blown out. Yeah, that's totally ROTF Megatron right there. What's that giant bumblebee back there? Huh. And now we're going to talk about two Toy Fair bits of news. The first of which is Hasbro steps down from the London Toy Fair in 2022. And it's COVID. It has everything to do with COVID. The other license holders like Jazzwares, Tommy, Basic Fun, Heathside, and Ravensburger are going to be there. But I, mm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, oh, that, yeah, the, the, the fair is going to be tomorrow through the 27th. So the 25th through the 27th. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if other, if other groups bow out as well. I know it's late, considering it's going to be tomorrow, but I wouldn't be surprised if other folks leave. I really wouldn't, because COVID. And then again, another Toy Fair news, Melbourne Toy Hobby Licensing Fair 2022 has been canceled because germs. It sucks. It does. It sucks. But this makes sense. It really does. And I think Hasbro has also realized they don't really need Toy Fair to get to the fans. Now, Toy Fair, all these fairs were not for the fans. They were for people to buy their product, you know, like Walmart and retailers specifically. But that's changing. That really is changing. So yeah, we'll see what we'll see what next year brings. We really will. I'm going to be really interested to see if in-person stuff happens next year. Next up, we have a YouTuber who got a hold of Night Pr Night Prowler. That is the third repaint of the Cheetor mold. Yeah, it looks pretty good. I like it. The mold's good. I like the mold, but I mean, we're not even, we're barely a year in. We've already got four different versions of the mold. That's a bit much. I am really curious to see if they give this a heavy retool and turn it transmetal. Yes, please do that, Hasbro. I want to see it. And our last two stories include some figure reveals. First up, we have our first new look at Rescue Bots styled Optimus Primal and Grimlock toys. Now, first, we've got Prime and Bumblebee. And I swear, Hasbro is getting some real use out of that Prime mold and Bumblebee. And then Grimlock and Primal. Oh my god, they look so cute. I love them. Yeah. Grimlock, that little Grimlock is cute, and oh, that Primal. I want the little monkey bot. That that looks good. It's nice to see Primal getting an actual mold of his own. I love it. And the last bit of news has some new figures revealed. We are talking about Authentics Transformers, Authentics Alpha Series, and Authentics Bravo Series. The Authentics Alpha Series are 7-inch scale figures, and the Bravo are 4.5-inch scale. So what are we talking about with the Authentics Alpha? Well, Wheeljack is coming. Yay! He looks pretty cool. I like the look of it. It is a little bit on the nose for G1. It actually feels a lot like the most recent Wheeljack figure we just got in the Deluxe Class figures. So I'm looking forward to Wheeljack. Now in the Bravo series, we have RC. And who would have thought that RC would look fantastic if you just moved the car cable and gave her boots? 
I love this. I love this design. I think it's just perfect. Can we have this going forward? Yeah, she loses the gigantic backpack. I'm okay with that. The iconic backpack. Fine. Get rid of it. We don't need it. I think this is great. I'm really looking forward to picking this one up. All right, everybody, that's it for today's Giant Robot News. Thank you so much for watching. Please let me know what you think of everything down in the comments. Be sure to hit those like and subscribe buttons. Follow me over on Twitter to yell at me. And, well, yell at me down in the comments as well if you feel like it. As always, I have been Paul Matrix, and I'll catch you all on Wednesday.